Hello, this message goes out to the families and students of the La Crosse School District. My name is Jordan Young and I am an adapted PE teacher with the School District of La Crosse. Over the course of the past year, I have been working to create an online hub of resources um, through YouTube. Now I have my own YouTube channel and on this channel there are physical activities that you can participate in the home if you have limited or no equipment. I know a lot of times in our PE classes we have all this fancy equipment like parachutes and hockey sticks and badminton rackets and you might not have those things at home but on my YouTube channel there are lots of video resources that you can use to stay active at home over this extended break. So I really wanted this message to kind of just to check in with families and I'm going to unlock my comment section and the reason for that is so that we can have an organic conversation if you are wanting more ideas, if you are looking for more activities, specifically if you live in a certain area of town and thinking, huh, Mr. Young, how can I be active with all of this social distancing going on? So I also wanted to talk about that. You've probably heard the term social distancing um, being thrown around with COVID-19, that uh, virus that has been going around. Now we know that this virus um, e easily spreads from person to person via close contact, so they're recommending that we stay apart from people. Um, that's in public situations, six feet or more. And we don't need to be hermits over this extended break. We know that it's important to stay healthy and we want to stay healthy so that we can protect anyone else that might live with us. Maybe we have grandma or grandpa living at home with us, or maybe we have mom has a baby on the way, or maybe we have little brothers and sisters. Um, and we want to keep people protected. And so staying healthy, how can we do that at home? Well, over this break, that means going to bed and getting enough sleep. So as youngsters, we know that we should be getting eight, nine hours of sleep a night. Um, drink lots of water staying hydrated, um, making sure that you're drinking your water, <clears throat> getting six to eight cups a day um, is going to help your body and your immune system stay strong. Um, and eating, make sure you're getting those meals in. If your family uh, does not have access to meals, our school district is working very hard to make sure that we have established sites throughout the district for those meals that normally your students are provided or our students and your children are provided in school can continue to receive in the community. If you would like information about where you can receive those meals, um, please send me a direct message via email or your student's classroom teacher and we will be able to provide more information about that on an individual basis. Um, so, I am going to be uploading videos weekly and pa most likely bi-weekly just to check in. That's all I want to do is check in with families and students and make sure everyone is being healthy and active and to be available as a resource. So maybe baby Gus. My wife and I um, had a baby six months ago, so he is going to be home from daycare over this extended break, and we're gonna have to stay active ourselves. So I'm gonna be uploading videos of maybe one day we'll be going for a walk, and I just wanna give you some ideas on how we can incorporate lifelong physical activities like skateboarding, and biking, and hiking, and walking, or maybe if, you're, if you have a question, hey, Mr. Young, where can I be active in my neighborhood? Well, please drop me a line in the comments section. Um, I'm going to be providing this resource with classroom teachers so that you have all of my old YouTube videos that are already on my channel, and then you're also getting these updates. So if you'd like to subscribe, that would be one way to get notifications um, when I upload new videos over this break. So. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we're in this together. Our teachers and staff care very much about you and we're collaborating and working around the clock to make sure that um, our students are staying connected and feel safe. So if there's any other information that we can do to provide you and your family, please let us know. Um, we're thinking about you and we want you to be safe. So stay tuned for videos on how you can continue to be active and keep that body healthy and safe at home.